From the colleges and universities of the nation, CBS Television brings you The Search. The search to know and understand man and his work. The search for a richer, happier life for all. This is the University of Arkansas Fine Arts Center. I'm Charles Romine. In a few minutes, we're going to take off in this Jeep into the wilds of the Ozark Mountains. This is a detective story. We're going on an unusual search. We have a few clues to go on. The rest is deduction. Cruel choice with the young and fair. And I'll be true, true to my love. Love if my love will be true to me. He gave the oldest a gay gold ring. This is Mary Celestia Parler, professor of English, ballad hunter, and director of folklore research. The song she's listening to is called The Two Sisters. Love if my love will be true to me. The song you have just heard, we have every reason to believe, is currently sung in Arkansas, although we have never collected it or recorded it. It is one of the oldest surviving British traditional ballads. It was co collected by Samuel Keats in 1650, but we know that it is much, much older than that. Now we are going out to try to find the great, great, great grandchild of this song as sung in the Arkansas Ozarks today. Ready? All set. Well, let's go. Is uh, this all you have with you? Well, a ballad hunter doesn't need much equipment. All you have to have is something Rugged like this, it'll take those mountain roads and those section roads down in the rice country and a tape recorder and plenty of tapes. And most of all, you have to have a genuine love for people. Do you mind if I take off this coat? Well, you better take it off. Nobody in the Ozarks wears a coat in the summertime. Before we start, just what is a folk song? How does it differ from any other old song? A folk song is a song that lives in people. One singer teaches it to another without benefit of sheet music or printed words or records. In fact, publication of a folk song tends to imprison it. But the real test of a folk song is oral transmission. It's taught by singing and learn by hearing from generation to generation. Shall we get going? I'll be true, true to my love. Love if my love will be true to me. Ballad singers like the people we're going to see used to provide the main form of entertainment in these isolated areas. Where are we going now? We're going to see Mr. Donnie Hammontree, a long-time informant of mine. Informant? <laughs> That's just a word we folklore collectors use for the people that we get our material from. I got it. There's Mary again. What you doing this time, Donny? Oh, I'm uh, drawing water to soak my pigs up so they'll hold slop. It's so dry around here they won't hold slop. Donny, this is Charles from mine. Glad he to likes you, to hear Ryan. people sing folk songs, too. Nice to see you, Donny. Thank you. Do you feel like knocking off work and singing some songs for oh, us? Oh, gee, it's too hot out here. Let's go in the shade of the house and I'll... Sing you a new one. It's not a new song, but then I, you, I've never sung it for you, and I'll sing it for you. Oh, good. All right. The name of this song is Dick German the Cobbler. I learned it 70 years ago. Got the ballad from my cousin, Charlie Brandon. My name is Dick German the Cobbler. I've served my time out in camp. 
They called me a rotten potato, so I thought I had better repent. With my wingo wang wingo wang wingo, with my wingo wang wingo wang way, with my hub blub 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 blarry, twack body roddy de la day. But now since my roving is over, I've made some change in my life. But now as my roving is over, I've buckled myself to a wife. With my wingo wang wingo wang wingo, with my wingo wang wingo wang way, with my blub 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 blarry, quack party roddy de la day. My wife, she is blue-eyed and blinky. My wife, she was blue-eyed and black. She was the devil's grandmother for scolding, and her tongue, it went clickety-clack. With my wingo wang wingo wang wingo, with my wingo wang wingo wang way, with my hub blub 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 blarry, quack party roddy de la day. Did you ever hear an old song about two sisters? Two sisters? No, I never heard that song. But I'll tell you who does know that song. Uh, Ain't Sookie up Berryville way. Miss Bristow, you know. And you stop at the Yoakum Creek store and inquire the way there. They'll tell you how to get to her house. She knows that song. parts, isn't it? Hot, fella. This ain't nothing. I can see you a stranger around here in these parts. Boy, it can really get hot up here in these hills when it has a mind to. Say, hey, Oscar, remember that year back in 1936? I sure do. Why, well, it got so hot up to my place, the corn went to popping on the ears right out in the field. That happened on quite a few farms in two here, I reckon. Popcorn all over the place. The damn stuff got two feet deep on the level and drifts against the fences. <laughs> you know, I had the team out in the field plowing that day. I reckon the horses figured it was snow, because they began to shiver so that I thought they'd freeze before I'd get them back to the barn. It was a scorcher. Well, so long, stranger. Hey, uh, what goes with those fellows? They really think I was going to believe that story about the heat? <laughs> oh, they've been getting, giving you that old corn-popping horse freezing yard? Yeah, that's the one. That's one of the favorite tall tales in those arts. Vance Randolph put that in his book, We Always Lie to Strangers. Brother, you've been took. <laughs> We're coming in Arkansas. We're coming in Arkansas. Our four-horse team will soon be seen in the hills of Arkansas. The men raise hounds down there. Hiding is all they care. While the women plows and makes the corn and the man shoots turkey and deer. We're coming in Arkansas. We're coming in Arkansas. Our four-horse team will soon be seen in the hills of Arkansas. My name is Mary S. Briscoe. I was born and raised right here. Some call me Sister Sookie and some call me Granny. And I'm 80 years old. And my father was a terrible singer, good singer. And he learnt me the most of the old songs. What are you going to sing for us, Sister Sookie? Some folks want me to show, show out and sing something funny. So I guess I'll sing you kissing on the slide. They all laugh at that every time. When you make love with a pretty turtle dove, she'll linger all around your under jaw. You must kiss her for her mother, for her sister, and her brother, till her papa comes to kick you from the door. Pulls a pistol from his pocket, pulls a hammer for the cockets, and declares he'll blow out your giddy brains. 
But your ducky says he mustn't kiss and loaded down he doesn't. And you go to head to kiss him once again. You want to kiss her, need to kiss her sweetly and completely if you want to kiss her so as to kiss her nice. Well, now you go kiss her, make a dodge or two and miss her. Then smack her on the kiss her once or twice. Oh, the old maids love it and the angry in the pie. They say it's mighty naughty and they think they had an order. Bet you, bet your life they'll kiss you on the sly. There was a little family who lived in Bethany. Two sisters and one brother compose a family. Oh, they were poor and needy. Their house was always open, which pure so good and kind. Their brother was afflicted and with the disease confined. Poor Mary and poor Martha, they wept and loudly cried. But Lazarus got no better, he lingered on and died. You still didn't find the song you were looking for. I caught my limit just the same. I'm glad I met you people. I want you to come back again. We've had a nice time. And if you are still interested in them two ladies song about the two ladies, why, you could probably find that at my brother Fred Highs lives east of here. He knows lots of songs that I don't know, and he might know them. Well, you said before that these old folk songs reflect the lives of the people who sing them. From what I've heard so far, many of them are about lords and ladies, heroines in fancy dress, heroes on white charges, real romantic tragedy. Now, how does that reflect the lives of these mountain people? In a sense, it doesn't. The ancestors of these people had to hew their living out of the mountain forest. They lived in log cabins, wore humpspun, hunted for food, and many still do. They had no luxuries or fancy trimmings. Consequently, they gave color to their lives by singing of beautiful ladies in glittering dress, of riches and fineries and luxurious surroundings. They feel deeply about the story of these ballads. They're not just words to a song. There was a lady lived oh. That must be Fred High's place. And children she had three. She sent them away to the North Country for to learn the grammar. They hadn't been gone but a very small while, scarce like twelve months and a day. Very strange, peculiar kind of melody. It's no wonder he's singing in an old gap modal scale. It's the untampered scale, a very old-fashioned form of music. Cried that used to wear a crown. Pray send me home, my three little babes, for tonight or in the morning soon. She set the stage. Sounds almost like an oriental chant of some kind. No wonder both the oriental chant and this kind of singing use fewer notes to the octave than we are accustomed to. Three little babes come eat and drink off mine. We can't eat none of your bread, mother, nor drink none of your wine. Before the break of day, our Savior, we must join. Mr. High? Do you know a song about the two sisters? No, Mom, I don't, but I think I've heard Booth Camel of Cane Hill sing that song, but I heard that he was in a bad shape. A log had fell on to him, and he wasn't uh, well right now. Now what must that father have felt when he went to the door? He found Mary dead and the child Fondly clasped in its dead mother's horn The father and grief passed away And the child to the grave soon was born And there's no one lives there 
that cottage to ruin has gone. Villagers point to the spot where the willow wept over the door. Seeing them, they perished and died from the wines that blew across the wild moor. You can't keep a good troubadour down. Well, I'm pretty well down now, Mary. But still, I thank God that I'm able to go. But you know, Mary, my muse is flown. My ego's dead. And hair won't grow on my old hard head. My vision's dim. And my motion's slow, but I can still thank God my whiskers grow. <laughs> Booth, this young man is from CBS Television. Well, I'm glad to meet him. Um, I told you, Mary, if I live long enough, TV would come and get me. Just how long have you been singing and entertaining people? Well, ever since I was big enough, Mary. I didn't know any better when I was little, and I never outgrew it. I've passed my 82nd year. I only live for three things. Love, laughter, and song. Mm-hmm. And which one you like the best? Love. <laughs> when does it ever pay off? Well, love has paid off occasionally. And I'm very well satisfied with the payment. Booth, I've been looking for an old song called The Two Sisters. Do you know it? No, Mary, I don't know it. But I know a woman that I think sings that song, Miss Crimes. She lives down on Pepper Lake. And there's going to be a big play party that night, and she may be there. Take care of yourself and get well. Well, good bye, Mary. I'm glad you come. Come back again. <laughs> Joshua camp before Jericho's town. He blew on his horn till the walls tumbled down, and I blow my own horn with precision and skill. That's why they call me Old Wind Bill. David went round with a stone in the sling, and he been old Goliath, and later was king, and he ran with. The wild bunch when Saul was alive, what could he have done with my old 45? like a dance to me. Why don't they call it that? They're not call it dancing. They call it playing games. I don't get it. There are three main differences between a play party and a dance. The music is sung rather than instrumental. They use a hand swing rather than a waist swing. And they say they're playing games. Say, uh, who's that over there? 
That's Mary Jo Davis, a very fine young folk singer. There lived an old lord by the northern sea, bow down. There lived an old lord by the northern sea, the boss they bent to me. There lived an old lord by the northern sea, and he had daughters one, two, three. That will be true, true to my love, love and my love will be true to me. A young man came. We got it. You mean that's the two sisters? A young man came according there, the boss they bent to me. A young man came according there, and he took choice of the youngest there. That will be true, true to my love, love and my love will be true to me. He gave this girl a beaver hat, bow down. He gave this girl a beaver hat, the boss they bent to me. He gave this girl a beaver hat, the oldest she thought much of that. That will be true, true to my love, love and my love will be true. Oh, sister, oh, sister, let's we walk out, bow down. Oh, sister, oh, sister, let's we walk out, the boss they bent to me. Oh, sister, oh, sister, let's we walk out to see the ships are sailing about. That will be true, true to my love, love and my love will be true. Why, Mary Jo, where'd you learn that song? Why, I owned it for my grandmother. Yeah, we've been looking for this old song from all the older people. Isn't it amazing we found it from a young girl? Well, congratulations on the end of a very successful ballad hunt. And, uh... Now that the business at hand has been taken care of, shall we? and a source of inspiration to writers, artists, and musicians. But we folklore collectors are impressed by the way these people make their own music. We ask ourselves, what should music mean to people anyway? Are we not, as a nation, becoming listeners and watchers of our own culture? Can't we learn from these folk singers and folk musicians, the joy and vitality of participating in a live kind of music. 